Hello, YouTube fans. How are you today? Well, thank you for tuning in today's blog. If you're wondering what I'm doing today, we're going to go ahead and finish putting this uh, Halloween flickering light circuit back together. In my last video, we kind of made a couple mistakes in trying to get everything to fit back into this tiny little box of a, a metal box, a junction box for everything to fit. But I want to share with you and show you how all this works. Now, one thing, this is electrical. This is very, very dangerous. I do not recommend doing this yourself. If you want to be able to try it out, that would be on you, not on me, just to let you know. Very, very dangerous. And the one thing I always use for testing any type of circuits is a GFCI outlet. This is my testle I use all the time. This is very simple to make. And everything else, this is what I use for the purposes of using the switch experimenting with this kind of stuff here. Now, what we did kind of long in the on video is we over tightened one of my wire nuts on the neutral line. I end up uh, stripping off a bit more of the coating, got that all wired up nicely and neat. And this is just a standard uh, socket. You can use a outlet if you want for different Halloween effects with the flickering circuit. Now, of course, yeah, to have a bulb. Okay, this is the incandescent 25 watt bulb, flame style bulb. You cannot use that LD or a CFL bulb at all for this project on Halloween props and everything else like that. But the one thing you're going to need is a couple nice items. Is this little startle? The startle came out of a dead. Uh, fluorescent housing, the transform uh, diode. This is a FS slash 2 4 slash 22 watt startle. This can use two big giant bulbs and this can also use up to four bulbs as well. And uh, let's go ahead and show you how this all wired up. Ah, oh, the hot glue and stay. Yeah, I figured out something. Yeah, with that ladle. Um, this is how I have it wired. You can see I have my uh, flex uh, cable here, the uh, 16 gauge uh, wire going into the box, and we have this little grommet here to hold this wire down into place as well. Let me grab the plug. Trying to grab everything with one hand. It's not easy. This is somewhat how it's all wired. If you want to take a peek, that's how it's all wired on the inside. I do have a fuse uh, for some safety reasons to be able to protect the circuit itself from getting too much voltage or wattage or whatever on the inside of the end. Now, of course, the one problem is, is with this, this is my first time doing this, and like I said, if I want to build it a little differently, I could, but I decided to go ahead and put the fuse on the outside, but the starter cap is on the inside of the uh, unit itself. But let's go ahead and put all these wires and close this unit back up, and we're going to test it out and see if it actually works or not. You're going to need your two screws. You're going to need your boiling. I'm just going to gently pack these wires in here, a uh, gently hill, in a fastening uh, order in this hill, or it doesn't just all stick out. Put that here. That maybe here. And you drive over there. Now this is kind of a tricky kind of thing here. I have to line up these little holes for this level earring. If I can't even find it. This is designed for outside. 
uh, use as well. That's pretty cool. And that's what it's designed for. It's a lot tricky to get out of thing that's somewhat stick together or get in, in the thing. And sometimes what I have to do is pop the damn socket off to line this all back up again. As like I said, it's very, 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 very tight and very, very tricky as well. At the exact same time. I do apologize for this uh, not going the way it needs to go. And it does take a lot longer than I expect it to do. Put the little screws into place. On both sides. And it's a thousand different ways you can also make a flicker light circuit. You can use a outlet as well. That's if you have enough room for everything to fit into the actual housing in the box itself. And tuck that in down like that. Tuck that in like that. Snap that into place. Put your own owing in the place. Put a glass globe. Stuck it on, make sure it's nice and tinked. Take your incandescent bulb. Put that down like that. Put that on the side. Take your glass glue that came with this unit. Screw that into place. And what the glass glue does, it helps to protect your incandescent bulb and put your metal housing over top of the glass globe. Just like this. Screw it into place. Plug it in. Make sure you check all the wiring. Make sure everything is nice and tight. And go internally. There you go. How's that for kind of a spooky Halloween as well? Alright, if you are brand new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button, leave a comment down below. Please like, please share, peace out. Bye guys. I hope to see you in the next vlog. Thank you for watching and thank you for tuning in. Have a nice day.